Scriptures on Finances. Given it shall be given unto you, good measure pressed down and shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. Luke chapter 6, verse 38. The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 7. But if any provide not for his own, and specially for those of his own house, he hath denied the faith, and is worse than an infidel. 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 8. Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. For which of you, intending to build a tower, sitteth not down first, and counteth the cost, whether he hath sufficient to finish it? Luke chapter 14, verse 28. If therefore ye have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will commit to your trust the true riches? Luke chapter 16, verse 11. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. But thou, O man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 10 to 11. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. James chapter 1, verse 17. A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 22. Honor the Lord with thy substance, and with the first fruits of all thine increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 9 to 10. There is treasure to be desired in oil in the dwelling of the wise, but a foolish man spendeth it up. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 20. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, saith the Lord of hosts. Haggai chapter 2, verse 8. And he said unto them, Take heed, and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of things which he possesseth. Luke chapter 12, verse 15. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye, always having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks, and look well to thy herds. Proverbs chapter 27, verse 23. Every man also to whom God hath given riches and wealth, and hath given him power to eat thereof, and to take his portion, and to rejoice in his labor, this is the gift of God. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 19. He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much, and he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much. Luke chapter 16, verse 10.